see the beach now down there. Well, it looks interesting anyway. Seen a few crinoid blocks, but nothing really good, and a few plant remains, but very poor. Obviously, nothing quite defined yet. Just have to keep our fingers crossed. It's not somewhat where, where I'm used to collecting on this material, so um, unless it actually does look like uh, like a tridactyle, that's like a three-pointed footprint, and it's totally unmistakable. I probably won't recognise a worn-out one, but. We'll keep having a look. Um, say they're in a band up there somewhere, so when it falls out out the cliff and um, lands down here, we need to be looking in the big slabs for some stuff. Hopefully. So we'll give it an hour or so north, and then see how we get on. And then if not, we'll uh, we'll try south along there, the corner there. And then if we can't find anything, I'll probably hit somewhere else on the way back. But it's definitely worth coming to somewhere I've never been before. It's a nice looking place. Be even better if it was sunny and nice and warm. Some people behind me are going to be surfing. They're braver than I am. I think I'm bonkers. <laughs> Braver than me. I wouldn't imagine you can pick them guys up on here, but there's two guys just gone into that lot surfing. A lot braver than I have. <laughs> anyway, I should be, yeah. Uh, Looking for fossil footprints and plants, and not filming people surfing. There's a massive lump of coral there, look. First drop in the hammer. You can see all the polyps in that. Seen a couple of bits of coral from here, actually. So it's a lovely rainy day, uh, bank holiday in Britain, so everyone's off. So I was just intently um, looking along for uh, fossils and stuff like that. It just goes to show that how concentrated you can be. And unfortunately there's a dead seal here and I, I nearly stood on it. And God, it scared me to death. <laughs> I know you shouldn't, uh, it's a shame he's dead like, but, or she, I don't know. But ah oh, yeah, it's uh, it it made me jump and then we trod on it. Yeah, such a shame. The 
a little grey fear in there. <coughs> but quite poor on the uh, fossil front there, they say there's quite a few bits of coral and crinoid block but nothing particularly I want to take. Um, no decent plant remains as yet, you know, ones which are solid. Um, God, I must keep dropping my hammer. That's been a piece of coral, I think. It's very warm. So there is bits and bobs here, but uh, not what we've come to look for. So we're just going to go up to this, this headland here, and then we're going to uh, turn around and head south. So Mark's cracking on up there. But totally different to the usual areas we collect, so we, we need to get our eye in, but just different different things. And obviously there's not not as common up here. I mean footprints aren't that common definitely. But we need to be looking for the big slabs where they fell from the band up in the cliff. There's some ripple marks on there. I don't know if you can pick that out. That's probably a uh, riverbed. And you can see the amount of plant material in there as well. All the grey stuff is plant material. But it's obviously it's so squashed flat. But all this sandstone was out. <coughs> I believe, unless anyone wants to tell me wrong, I believe it's uh, remains of sand from a riverbed. And then it used to flood out into a delta and then into the North Sea. And obviously that's where the dinosaurs was walking. They was walking on the sand at the edge of the rivers and stuff. And that's where the footprints can be preserved. Right, so Mark's just shouted he thinks he's found some footprints, so um, let's just walk up there and see if he has. We've still got a look though, because it's alright him finding some. Let's hope he has. The excitement building. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Oh, Carol. Do you reckon, mate? <laughs> you tell me. No, in Mark's look, it's probably got the dinosaur's foot still attached to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be that, Mark. What is it just running around? Oh. Sort of a shape there, and then there's sort of a shape there. You might be right. Do you just want to point them out again? Because I'm not. So, there's, you see one, yeah, one yeah, foot there, that. and then there's one foot yeah, there. Yeah, I can see that. And I, I think, think that's right, the man. back of it. Yeah. Uh, there was loads of loose stuff on here, so I chipped it away to see if there was out. Yeah, probably. Uh, there and there, isn't it? And could, maybe that's the start of the one behind it. Could well be, but. Um, yeah. yeah, well spotted. Say we're not 100% certain because unless it was totally glaringly yeah. obvious with like claw marks in it and stuff like that but that's the best looking thing we've seen all day so 
Yeah, could well be Mark. Well spotted. Thank you. So just some more shots there of um, what I'm sure of is riverbed and the ripples in the sand there. And I've just found uh, another possible footprint there, but just don't know. It's certainly small, but you know, it's three toes, it's got like a heel, it's got depth to it. This is different types of uh, casts because they are trace fossils. But yeah, could well be. Hopefully I'll take some stills and put it on the uh, Facebook page and someone with a bit more knowledge will be able to let us know. Then have I found another one there? But it... Right, one, two, three, but missing, and then the heel there. But again, I'm, I'm just not 100% certain. That could well be, but who knows? <laughs> a bit frustrating, I think we need a bit more knowledge, but this is where we need to be looking then. I'm going to put that with the other one. So Mark's just spotted another one there, which we think is one. Uh, it's missing a toe. But I'm sure that is, isn't it Mark? I just want to point it out, but... Yeah. One tear, two tear, there's probably another tear there but it's missing. It's been a decent size. Yeah, I reckon that is, Mark. Yeah. So we'll walk past that one, so that's just hitting it from another angle. Not that you'll be able to see on this camera, but there's a nest up there of peregrine falcons. There's a pair up there. Um, if one of them flies off the nest, you will see them, but it's just landed, so I can just see it now. It's possibly got a chick as well, because it's feeding something, I think. Right, so we've had uh, two or three hours um, north, so now we're just going to head south now. Sun's come out a little bit, it's stopped raining, so that's not too bad. So, we're just going to see what we can pick up, find along here, maybe some more prints or some more plants. So, we're just working our way north now with the same lots and lots of plant remains. But it's all extremely squashed and just uh, fragmented. Looks like it's maybe been bent or something like that. There, possibly a uh, bushfire or something like that when it was uh, on the land. But you can see all the carbon charcoal deposits. Not what we're going to do, we haven't found any dax today, we'll be yeah, suffering withdrawal symptoms, I would think. Oh, uh, yeah, I did find one in the van, but Mark said it was his, but. <laughs> Plenty of dinosaur food. Yeah. Again, plenty of plant remains. <laughs> We just need to find some more footprints now. But 
there doesn't seem to be as much fresh falls on this side so if there was any footprints on some of these blocks that have been here a long time they'll have been eroded by the sea because the sandstone is quite soft Oh, well, them burrows. Hmm. Right then, so we've finished as far as we're going now down here. Um, hopefully, we picked up a couple of prints um, on camera, which you saw back there. So we'll just see. Um, quite a different landscape, different area for us to collect in. So it's only half past 11, so we're going to. Uh, crack on and uh, add, add somewhere else I think so maybe Speeton or somewhere else it's on the way back just for a couple of hours um, see what we can find there try and pick a little bit of rubbish up sorry is it a bit slippery <laughs> <laughs> 